as broadcast journalists across the globe celebrate World Television Day, an appeal has gone out to them to continuously uphold the tenets of the PEM profession in the discharge of their premier assignments. This call was made known by the Chief Medical Director, Federal Medical Center, Idea Babe Okuta, Professor Adewale Musa Olumu, at the 2020 celebration of the World Television Day held in Abeokuta, Ogun State Capital. He said the role played by the journalists in the awake of the COVID-19 pandemic cannot be overemphasized. Following the various minds that surrounded the outbreak, hence the need for journalists to stand by the truth at all times. Even as COVID is still biting us, somewhere in River State, I learned a yellow fever and Lassa River started coming up again. This is the time. So at no time should we say, oh, let us sit down. Uh, coronavirus is uh, going. Let us sleep. We cannot. I want us to give a loud ovation to this, our journalists, for the celebration of this World Television Day. Thank you very much. Without you, we are dead. Whichever amount of earth that you possess, when you have good governance, then from that good governance on top, information will radiate. And what information? What has this leader? What does he have for us? What does he want to do? He must communicate. In terms of education, health, technology, social life, just think of it. And who are the people to carry this information? And you are the, you are the people. So once again, I clap for you too. Please, let us give them another ovation. And that's the lesson for you where you should try as much as possible to avoid fake journalism, fake reports, especially about these diseases. You knew quite a lot of things went around. All sorts of things were said between the US and the China, between 5G, development of 5G and this virus. Many things were said, many taboos. And that's the more reason you have to be very careful of your journalism. It must be transparent. You must be very honest. You must disseminate correct information. You must never. I'm happy that the representative of the commissioner is here, and this will go to the government. Whatever government is not doing, do not praise government unnecessarily. And whatever they are doing, say it, that they are doing this, these are good, so that they can be encouraged to do more. And we are ever then you still think that is the future, where we are going. Please be ready to tell them nothing will happen. On his part, Chairman Consolidated Chapel of Nigerian Junior of Journalists, Ogun State, Kazim Olowe, assured that journalists in the state will continue to be objective and transparent in the discharge of their duties. Let me assure you that we shall continue to be people's advocate and promoter of truth, fairness justice and equity. We shall continue to write credible reports, serve as watchdog in the society, and remain committed to the promotion of professional standards, accuracy, objectivity, sincerity, and transparency will continue to be our watchwords. For this cause and presence, the profile ways Nigeria can follow in the light of post-COVID-19 era, ranging from agriculture, adequate funding of the earth sector, amongst others. For us, we feel to ensure a proper post-COVID period in Nigeria, all hand must be on deck. It's not only the earth sector. We know that COVID has affected all sectors. So all hand must be on deck. And for us to build a very and a strong post-COVID Nigeria, all coalitions that were formed during the COVID period should not end, they should continue. But According to the UN statistics, 2.9 million people in the northeast of Nigeria are food insecure, and the figure could rise to 3.7 million before the year runs out. So, 
there is a problem in that direction too that post COVID-19 Nigeria has to interrogate. Same way, I'm saying post COVID-19 Nigeria should light up Nigeria, should feed Nigeria, should industrialize Nigeria, should integrate Nigeria and the human capital development. 2020 World Television Day witnessed the presentation of awards to deserving heroes of the COVID-19 pandemic. Of your efforts in distributing priorities to citizens of our states and support for humanity in general. Continue to do what is good in the interest of the people. In and out of projects, people see what is going on. That's not all for the guest speaker. Being the MD of this institution, my observation, immediately I entered the compound, the people who were in the vehicle with me can attest to this. He said, is this FCMD? IFMC, ah, this is a new development. Abibat Ajayi, TV24 News.